Hi, welcome to another Seeing With Stars podcast. I'm Steph Johnson. And well, we've had some supercharged times, haven't we, with Jupiter moving into Gemini, which is going to affect us all. And I'm about to talk about your stars for June. So please keep in mind my previous podcast on Jupiter in Gemini and that we're in Gemini season because that affects us all. But let's have a look at each of the zodiac signs. Firstly, Aries. The focus is on your mind. You can look at all of the mind words, mindset, mindfulness, sharp mind, mentally stimulating, all those sorts of things apply to you during June. It's time though to make a decision or at least to seek clear information to help you make up your mind. You are aware that choices need to be made and again we have this Gemini season affecting everyone and for you we're looking at the choices that need to be made. These can range from small everyday choices to the more complex ones. Small everyday choices like, do I take the same route to work every day? You don't like to be bored, so you might want to change it up a bit, but you also could be making bigger decisions. You could be just making some consumer choices or more personal ones. Your personal finances are also a little bit dodgy this month, just prompting you to look at more careful consideration. Your usual swift, direct and, yep, I'm going to buy that, may not be so applicable just during June. Taurus, your personal finances are flourishing, boosting your self-esteem and your appreciation of the positives in your personal life. It's likely that a key woman is influencing your personal self-esteem and your coffers and improving your sense of security. Security is also important to Taurus. So doors can open that boost your ability to earn more money and really boost your gratitude. One thing with Taurus though is the doors can open but you also have to have the confidence to step through. Now, normally, I wouldn't have to say this to a Taurus, but Jupiter is in your money sector. So when the doors open and you earn more money, you just need to be careful of spending your bonus or, on the other hand, of being greedy and asking for more. So self-confidence and an attitude of gratitude are what are required in June for Taurus. Gemini. Well, it's all systems go for Geminis. As I said, the positive planet Jupiter has moved into your zodiac sign and this supercharges your personal growth and your way forward. Abundance is your theme. It was also open for you and you need only choose which ones to go through. Herein lies a possible challenge. As a Gemini, choice is not always your friend as you really do try to say yes to everything. It's really hard for a Gemini to prioritise and so you end up trying to juggle and while you are really skillful at juggling, you just need to make sure that you don't take one skittle or one ball too many. In other words, overcommitment is something that you need to avoid at the moment. So pause for a moment, listen to your heart, your mind and in your mind there's a lot of chatter going on for Gemini. So try to stop that chatter in the mind, put your hand on your heart and really listen to what's the most important. I have so many opportunities now as a Gemini, which one do I want to choose or which ones can I choose? Cancer, your intuition and psychic abilities are heightened in June and as a result you may feel more vulnerable than usual. Like your symbol the crab, you may need some time to lay low and sort of dig underground and assess your options. Now, vulnerability can be a really lovely thing. So perhaps you're feeling vulnerable, in love with something or someone or a project, and it's all very positive. Brene Brown talks about vulnerability, and you might want to look that up. But if you're feeling really like, I'm too soft, I'm too open, then go to your safe place. Now, for many of you, that might be the ocean, perhaps sitting on a beach and looking at the sea, the waves coming and going and just feeling that, either that calm or even tuning in if you've got rust seas, tuning into that. But tuning into the ocean can really help. 
You might also enjoy a picnic on the beach. These are the sorts of things, or buy a lake or a pond if you can't get to the beach, or even a little water feature if you have one in your home. Doing this soothes your soul and gives you a chance to tune into those really psychic and intuitive abilities that you have. Leo, friendships are highlighted in June. So as a Leo, you value your friends and especially the loyal ones. As Pluto goes through the opposite sign of Aquarius, a lot of your relationships and your relationships in groups and everybody's actually, not just Leo's, everybody's relationships in groups is changing and shifting. But this month for you, Leo, it's important that you seek the company of friends who can share lively conversations and adventures. Now, I like to talk, I've got a Leo moon, and I like to talk about big adventures and little adventures. So when I take my grandchildren into the city, for instance, and we do something that's a bit different, I talk about that as being, oh, we're on an adventure, we're exploring. This is a very Leo thing to do. You love to have fun. And you are going to want to have fun this month with your friends. Now, there could be a lot of special celebrations, weddings, birthdays, etc. There might be one significant event. But whatever it is, people are going to seek your company. So you need to choose. We're all facing choices at the moment with this Gemini. But you need to choose your friends, the groups and clubs that you want to spend your valuable time with. Virgo, this is about your reputation, your reputation in the public world. Now, this can be anything from your role as a parent on a school committee, your role as the president of a club, your professional or career reputation. Now, usually Virgos are very demure, taking a back seat, doing the accounting or the detailed work. But this month, it's time for you to get some recognition for your achievements. Now, this could be asking for more money, if that's what you value. It could be that you receive an award, or it could be that you are given the opportunity to teach or go into a public arena such as a conference and offer your experience and knowledge. People in positions of authority can reward your efforts in June. And if not, you might be looking at spreading your wings and flying to a different job. Your role as a parent, a professional person, a mentor, these are all important to you in June. And it's one of those months where you just go, you know what, I know my worth and it's time other people noticed it as well. And with Jupiter there and it being June, hopefully that comes to you this month. Libra, you love to please other people. You want to make sure that other people's lives are running on an even keel. You like everything. Libra is, the actual word Libra is Latin for scales. And you have that as your symbol, the scales. But you don't want to see the scales with one end right down and one end right up. You want to see them even. This is what you like. But in June, you're being asked to let go of those scales for other people for a minute and look at your own dreams. You can escape those responsibilities for other people temporarily and even if it's only in your imagination, imagine if other people were looking after the balancing of the scales and you were considering your own aspirations. You may feel like the need to escape and wonder why. This is why, because June is about you expanding your world We all have to grow and change and we all have different challenges. And in June, Libra, your challenge is to look at what makes you happy, not other people. I know other people being happy makes you happy. But what else? What could you be doing for yourself? That's a very Aries thing. And Aries is your opposite sign. So have a look at the Aries in your life, any Aries friends or people. And see how they operate. And just for June, take a leaf out of their book. Scorpio, June is a very psychological month for you. Psychology is the study of mind and behaviour. And this is your focus. So this could be because something or someone or an event has triggered your need to dive deeper than everyday matters. Something about the cycles of life and synchronicity may be coming to light for you in June. 
You are always insightful anyway, but there might be something that's sharpening your instincts in June. You may be seeing links where other people don't. And if you have questions for yourself or you've reached a fork in the road, then what you can do is ask for signs and meaningful symbols. So things such as feathers or repetitive numbers or signposts or street signs or even something that's meaningful just to you. One woman I spoke to many years ago said that whenever she was facing a major change in her life, two or three crows would appear. Even at an airport where you wouldn't expect to see the crows, three crows would show up. That's quite unusual. For me, it's kookaburras. I often hear the kookaburras and I think, oh good, I'm on the right track. So what is it for you? Scorpios need some sort of symbol. They need or you need a connection to life beyond daily mundane matters. Sagittarius, your connections with a personal or business partner are changing. This is enabling you to grow and expand your horizons. So let's talk about two different types. We've got you currently being in a personal or business partnership and you are growing and therefore that partnership needs to change and expand with you or you fly the coop, so to speak. The other thing is you're single and you're tired of being single. Then perhaps somebody positive will come into your life to reward you with their company, <laughs> reward you with their company, but also having rewards through relationships if that's what you want. And the same applies for a business partner. Capricorn, a stubborn refusal to listen to others is likely to backfire this month. Rather, June is your month to focus, to concentrate on a project that requires mind power. Put that extra mind power that you have into positive use. Everyday duties are also highlighted. So your working life and household responsibilities are likely to be full on. These are the little things in life, the things that happen every day and keep you happy and healthy. So putting out the garbage, cleaning out the cupboards, doing those sorts of things. There's just something that is requiring you to put a little bit of extra effort into that this month. If you get time, make time in your busy schedule. A round of golf or perhaps a hiking expedition could really appeal as a way to let off steam. Aquarius, with Pluto in your zodiac sign, you are continuing with your personal transformation. The good news is that this month you are ready for more fun and creativity. So personal transformation does not have to be painful. It can be positive and fun as well. Think how much you learn when you do do something creative. And by creative, I don't mean going out and doing something like uh, drawing or painting, although it can be that, but it's doing something that sparks joy, something that your soul really is joyous in doing, you're happy doing. This is what you can do in June. Money considerations may limit your choices, but ingenuity is your middle name and you can take steps towards what you want despite any money lack. You can be imaginative and go forward and do something that excites your passion. It's time to focus on your zone of genius. Create a vision that inspires you and believe in yourself knowing that you have the resources. Pisces, home and family are the theme. So it's time to turn your attention to your home and turn it into a whimsical wonderland. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you're an imaginative and sensitive person. How does your home reflect that? Do you have water features, crystals, soft colours? If not, all of these could be featured as you focus on your home. It's time and perhaps you already have your haven. Perhaps you are already happy in your home. If so, you are likely to spend quite a bit of time at home in June. So whether you live alone or share your household, you need a home that reflects your sensitive nature and is a source of comfort. If it's not, then now is the time to create it to be that. And if it is, now is the time to spend some time there and really enjoy it. It's time to unleash your imagination and create magic on your home front. 
Well, that's it for June, your stars. I'm Steph Johnson. Thanks for listening.